What's going on everybody? I'm Daniel Treviso and today we're going to be doing Alice in Chains, Damn That River. Uh, if you're not familiar with the tuning, we are in drop C sharp tuning. We're going to leave that right here. And that's also known as drop D flat tuning. So that's going to also be right here. Uh, go ahead and tune down. If not, you can always do this in standard E tuning and then just drop D from there. Okay, so you're just going to be dropping that six string to D and you're, you can pretty much play this. It's just going to sound a tad different. Once you do that, uh, go ahead and, you know, warm up a little and then I'm going to go ahead and get ready with this close up and we'll get started. Okay, if you're not familiar with this album that Damn That River is off of, it's dirt and man, it is a great album. I'd really recommend that you guys go check it out if you haven't yet. Okay, in order to play this riff, we're going to just break it down, okay? So here's the first section. So what am I doing there? I'm just going to be barring every fret with uh, one finger each and I'm playing the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings and I'm going to be walking it up for a second. So it's going to go three, four, five, open. Three, four, five, open. Okay, then here's the trickier part. It's going to go five, six, seven, six, five, three, open. So that's again five, six, seven, six, five, three, open. Let's put all that together. One more time. After you hit that open, it goes back to three, four, five open. But you already know how to do so. Let me just put that into there real quick. Then it's going to go six, I'm sorry, five, six, seven, six, five, play three, and stop real quick. So let me show you that. Five, six, seven, six, five, three, and then you stop it. You just take your fingers off the frets, but you hold the strings down to keep them muted. Okay, so. So let's put that all together. I'll play it slow first. One more time. really like that riff. It's just heavy, man. Alright, so let's pick it up to speed now. Alright, the harder of the two riffs. Here we go. Okay, so what am I doing here is it's a lot of bending, okay? So if you're not too familiar with bending, you're going to need to take your time. If you can't hit the notes at first, play through anyways, you know, work on your bends. But you want to pull them out and work on them separately when you're really trying to dissect this and get better at your bends. Okay, so I'm going to break it down real, real straight, okay? So what we're doing here is we're taking our first finger and we're going to put it on the fourth string, third fret. One fret, two fret, three frets, fourth string. And what you're doing is you're bending up one half step. What does that mean? You're looking to hit the fourth fret on the, the fourth string note, but you're going to bend up to it on the third string, or I'm sorry, the third fret. Okay, so once you bend up to it, you just bring it back down to its natural setting or natural note with no tension from bending, okay? You're just going to hold the note down. Okay, so I'm really just using the tip of my finger and you can see that mark, but I'm using where the bone is and I'm just pulling down on it, okay? It's a half step bend, okay? So once you get that, you're going to jump over here to fret 5 with the third finger on the third string, and you're going to pluck it once, give it a little bit of vibrato. After you play this note, you come back to the first note, but with the middle finger this time, and here's the two notes we're going into, okay? So the middle finger is going to be on the first note that we played, so it's the third fret 
one, two, three, fourth string, middle finger, but no, no bends, no nothing, you just pluck it and go to the next note. So this note over here, you give a little vibrato, and this is the second fret, third string. One more time. One more time. Now we come back to the first note that we introduced again, which is your third fret, one, two, three, fourth string. You're going to pluck it, and then you're going to go up to the fifth fret, same string. And it's actually two plucks on the fifth fret. So we got this so far. One more time. Then you're going to use your middle finger while you're holding the ring finger here. You're going to use the ring finger and pluck the same fret, which is your fifth fret, but now on the fifth string. And actually, you're not going to hold this ring finger down. It's just till you get to the transfer to pluck this note on the fifth fret fret of the fifth string. So here's the whole riff so far. Then it just kind of repeats. Let me play the whole thing. Up to there, then it changes, okay? Let me play that all one more time. Get that far, okay? Once you get that far, then we'll go to the next section. One more time. Last notes. We're going to go with the third finger, fifth fret, fourth string for one pluck. Walk it down to your third fret, fourth string, first finger, same string. Then you're going to go down one string onto your fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five frets right there. Fifth string right here for that last note. Okay, so the three notes together. Fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret, fifth string. So the whole thing goes like this. Alright guys, that is it for this guitar lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. You can always like, comment, and share it. You can subscribe to this channel. I'd highly appreciate that. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, if you're looking for a guitar instructor, I offer one-on-one -on -one Skype guitar lessons through webcam. Uh, you can reach me at my website, mountainsideguitar.com, and I can help you get you playing, playing some scales, chords, rhythm, solos, whatever that may be. So reach me there, and I will see you on the next guitar lesson video.